This is Racing Tech. Name a car on the road today that is powered straight from the factory by a 500 cubic inch engine. I'll wait. Hard to do, isn't it? It's been a few decades since any daily machine contained that kind of power. However, you can still find them at a drag strip near you. I'm talking the engines powering the National Hot Rod Association or NHRA's top fuel dragsters and bunny cars. Now the long nosed top fuel dragsters are typically about 25 feet in length, made up of a chromoly steel tubing and carbon fiber composite. The monster engine sits at the very rear while the driver sits ahead of it. Funny cars don't quite look so funny, but they have a shorter chassis and a carbon fiber body shaped to resemble a production car vehicle with the engine situated in front of the driver. Both are powered by the same 500 cubic inch V8 supercharged engines derived from Chrysler Hemis, running on nitromethane fuel to lay down nearly 11,000 horsepower in one track run, sanctioned at 1,000 feet. So if you're doing the math, that's well over 1,000 horsepower per cylinder. It's why top fuel dragsters are some of the fastest accelerating cars in the world, managing a zero to 100 time of one second. Yeah one second, and the G's behind the experience are similar to what an astronaut would feel in a rocket launch. It's crazy. So in a thousand foot run, cars reach upwards of 340 miles per hour in about four seconds. Reason would say that that kind of power can be dangerous, and that's absolutely correct. Most of the serious fires and explosions that you'll see on track is from a cylinder or multiple that got just a little too much power, creating enough force to send a rod or a cylinder clear through the engine casing. For more on the technology behind the racing series you love, head to jalopnik.com.